Have you ever gained 30 pounds in two days after a contest? All right, hello everybody, thanks for joining. John Meadows here with Granite Supplements and I'm here with Yvonne Ibusek. So today we're talking about how to avoid the post-contest rebound. And even if you don't compete, you've probably had this happen. You're eating, you know, you're eating solid, great diet, and then all of a sudden you go off the wagon for the weekend, boom, you wake up Monday morning, you're 10, 20 pounds heavier. You know, back when uh, I was competing, the first year I won to Mr. Ohio, I gained 30 pounds in two days after the show. I had nosebleeds, I felt horrible, uh, it wasn't fun. And a lot of people do that. And I'm just gonna give you some ideas and Yolanda's gonna share her opinion on how to avoid that. So number one, I like donuts, ice cream, there's toast, pancakes, I like waffles. And after a show, I am gonna eat those foods. You cannot stop me and they cannot hide from me. I'm gonna eat them. So how do you do that without blowing up? Well, to me, here's what I do. So in the context, of all this, you gotta look at the big picture. It's not just that meal, it's what did you eat for the day? What were your calories? So what I usually do is instead of eating six meals a day, which is typical in pre-contest, I cut it down to three meals. So I'm managing, there's a built-in mechanism there for managing my calories right from the start. So I, I wake up and I enjoy that breakfast food I like, but then I'm only gonna have a, maybe a what, one or two o'clock meal, and then I'm gonna have a seven or eight o'clock meal. I'll do that for two or three, two or three weeks after a show. And that really helps me. It allows me to eat some foods that, in quantities that weren't in my diet. And by reducing the meals, I'm still within the right the, the calorie range that keeps me from getting super bloated. The second thing I would tell you is this. If you don't use diuretics, you can avoid the problem in large. When you use diuretics, whether you're competing or just doing a diet or a photo shoot, Inevitably, the electrolyte issues you have and dehydration cause a massive rebound. You re reintroduce foods with a lot of sodium, french fries, things like that, and you get this massive bloat. The competitors that I coach don't use diuretics, so that kills the post-contest rebound, post -contest rebound right there for most of them. But those are two things that I do. Now, um, Yvonne's going to share with you uh, what she does. Okay, as far as for me, uh, rebounding after a show. For me, it's very important to have self-control. Um, a lot of women here uh, will lose that self-control because you dieted for such a long period of time and immediately you just want to go to all those foods that you've been missing, um, which is great and all, and you do enjoy those foods. The rebound is real, and you guys, it's there. And for me to control it, I like to slowly um, go back to eating what I was eating right before the show and slowly put in carbs. Now, do I enjoy something small here and there? Yes, that's okay. As long as you're staying in your calorie intake that you have been consuming the last four weeks. So for example, if I'm eating um, half a cup of rice after training, and that's what I had been doing leading up to my show, uh, that week, later that week, I will add uh, maybe a fourth extra cup and then a half and so on and so forth. And that's what really works for me. And you know what, I've tried both ways and I figured out my body does not want to go right into those bad foods. It doesn't respond well at all. I blow, my fingers swell up, which is absolutely horrible. It is the worst feeling because that's when you really uh, mentally kind of check out and you start to feel horrible about yourself and when you can just simply completely avoid that. Yeah, I remember uh, having so much edema in <laughs> my lower legs and you see every single imprint of your socks. We used to get so bloated, you'd even get a demon in your forearms. So there's there's three different things you can do, um, three different ways. There's not one perfect way, but there's three different techniques you can use. So pick what works best for you. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next video.